back to Uncorked, everybody. I'm your host, Bobby, and today I'm here with Isaac. Yes. And we are talking about one of my favorite things. Bubbles. I love bubbles. Yes. Bubbles make me happy. Fall makes me happy. Yes. Even when it's way too hot outside, I'm right. still already thinking about what I'm going to put up for Christmas. We're calling this Mississippi fall. Yeah. Because, you know, everybody can relate to that. Yeah. Other states, if it were this hot, they would think it was summer. But for Correct. us, you know, it's chilling out a little yes. bit. Yes. And you know what? I've already seen or at least on social media, some stores with some Christmas trees out, so. I'm telling you, like fall is the time you spend planning for, for how Christmas, you're right. gonna decorate your house for Christmas. So we are gonna tell you some great sparkling wines that you can get for your tables this year. All right, which one are we starting with? We are starting with Piper Sonoma. Okay. Um, so Piper Sonoma is out of Sonoma County, California. This was owned by the Piper Heidsick family. They actually sold Piper Heidsick years ago and um, spent the money in the 80s to move to California and start making sparkling wine. Okay. Made by one of the most famous champagne makers and most famous champagne houses and families. So you know it's gonna be good. Yeah. So go ahead, give it a uh, sip. Yes. Um, so this is gonna be 70% Chardonnay with the remainder being um, Pinot Noir and some aged reserve wine. Oh, that's so good. It's made in champagne method, of course. Yes. So made in bottle, not in a tank. That's so good. Mm. It's not too bubbly, but it's obviously bubbly enough to know that it's a sparkling wine, yes. but like it's not overpowering. Yes. So um, this is actually going to be brewed in style and that can be very confusing to people. Sure. Um, so you can thank the French for that. There's a lot of people will think that the extra dry label actually means it's the drier style. You would think. That's what I would think. Yeah. But it's actually got a bit more residual sugar than the Brut does. So Brut okay. is going to be drier than extra dry. Very confusing. The more you know. And then there's actually one step above that called Brut Nature, which is bone dry. Okay. I don't know if I'd like a, I don't think I'd like that. Yeah. One. That's why so, it's not on this list. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so if you want like a sparkling with a little bit, tiny bit more sweetness, go with the extra dry. If you like yours a little on the drier side, Brut. Yes. And in particular, Piper Sonoma. Yes. Yes. Um, so next we're going to move on to the Mirabelle Brut. Uh, Brut is probably actually the most famous style of sparkling wine, sure. of course. Um, so this one is going to be 68% Chardonnay with the remainder being Pinot Noir. Okay. The famous grapes for making champagne are Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, etc. So go ahead and give this a taste. Okay. Tell me what you think. This also comes from California. It is made by Schramsberg. This is their Ooh. 31st bottling. Okay. So they've been doing this for a while. It tastes similar to Piper Sonoma, but mm -hmm. there's 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 a little subtle difference that I can't quite. Yeah. This one's down. a little fruitier. Yeah. That tiny bit of reserved aged wines coming out in this one. Okay, that's what it is. Kind of a little bit more bready. See, that's why you you have a small A on here to explain, because I can just be like, well, there's something different, but <laughs> <This> then <laughs> here she is, yes. exactly uh, explaining it. So. But it's so good. Like I it. like this one by itself. I like this one. You can make a nice mimosa with it, ordering by itself. But this one, I'm like, I don't want to put anything in this. No, one. just have it straight, right? Yes. There you go. And uh, you can find this one at Scotty's, um, or typically they have had it in stock in the past. Okay. And our last wine today, you know, we got to do something pink. Got to. Got to. Especially because Breast Cancer Month is coming up. So drink pink. Yes. Wear pink. Think pink. Think pink. Yes. So this is Francis. Drink pink. Yes. Drink <laughs> pink. Uh, this is Francis Ford Coppola's Prosecco Rosé. Uh, Rosé Prosecco was not allowed to legally be made until 2019. Wow. Uh, before then, creation. you had to label it Spumante. There you so, go. these are some wines that you can drink this fall. And I'm going to go back in with the Mirabelle. I'm going to go with the first one. And cheers. Cheers. See y'all next time.